no chase on me, no chase on me, no chase on me, no chase. Message. Did you know that the first person to step foot on the North Pole and to plant the American flag was a black man? On this day, August 8th, 1866, Matthew Alexander Henson, an African-American explorer, was born. Born on his family's farm just east of the Potomac River in Charles County, Maryland, Matthew Henson and his family were subjected daily to attacks by the Ku Klux Klan and other white supremacist groups. So to escape the racial violence in Southern Maryland in that time, the Henson family sold the farm and moved to Washington, D.C. But that's when things made a turn for the worse. Within a few years of moving, both his mom and his dad died. So Matthew and his siblings were forced to live with his uncle in another part of D.C. After losing both parents and being forced to move with an uncle that he really didn't like, his time in D.C., as he recounted, kind of sucked. But it was marked especially by one memorable event. When he was 10 years old, he went to a ceremony honoring Abraham Lincoln. Towards the end of the ceremony, a man by the name of Frederick Douglass got up and gave a speech. The Frederick Douglass. In his speech, he called on black people to, quote, vigorously pursue educational opportunities and battle racial prejudice. Pursue educational opportunities and battle racial prejudice. Young Matthew Henson heard those words and it changed his life forever. About a year and a half later, he dropped out of school completely and started working as a cabin boy on a merchant ship called the Katie Hines. Traveling to ports in China, Japan, Africa. Captain Childs of the Katie Hines took Matthew under his wing and taught him how to read, how to write, and most importantly to him, how to be a dope ass sailor. Captain Childs died in 1887. After that, Henson left the Katie Hines to take a job in DC as a store clerk. Although he was still very interested in a life of travel and adventure, he thought he'd never be- So, when a customer, a naval officer, said he needed a manservant for an expedition to Nicaragua, to map a canal, I signed on without a second thought. And him and Henson began talking, and he was so impressed with Henson's experience and his enthusiasm to see the world, he hired him on the spot to join his next expedition. And within days, they were off to Nicaragua. That man was Robert Perry. Henson and Perry spent the next two years traveling all throughout Central America, rainforests and jungles. This journey that they had would cement their friendship and bind their destinies together for the rest of their lives. After that, for almost 20 years, they made expeditions all throughout the Arctic. Henson traded with the people and mastered the Inuit language. In 1908, Robert Perry put together his eighth attempt to reach the North Pole, and this expedition was huge. When he and Henson boarded the ship leaving Greenland, August 18, 1909, they were accompanied by 22 Inuits, 17 Inuit women, 10 children, 246 dogs, 70 tons of whale meat, blubber, hunting equipment, and tons of coal. After about four months of trekking and exploring, 
Perry chose Henson and four of the native Inuits to take part in the six-man team that would make the final run to the North Pole. But before they could get there, Perry could no longer continue on foot, so he just rode in the dog sled. He hopped in the dog sled and sent Henson ahead as his scout. The first person to stand on top of the world was a black man named Matthew Alexander Henson. You see, many explorers were given the advantages of wealth and education in their childhood. Matthew Henson did not. His early years were hard, and that's what probably gave him the toughness needed to explore the North Pole. He was remembered as the only non-Inuit who had become skilled in driving the dog sleds and training dog teams the Inuit way. He was a skilled craftsman, often coming up with solutions that the team needed in harsh Arctic conditions. They learned how to build igloos out of snow. They learned how to recreate mobile housing as they traveled. Henson and Perry, they covered thousands of miles in dog sleds and reached the furthest point of any Arctic expedition at that time. He retold the story of the adventure in his book called the Negro at the North Pole, published in 1912. They would drive the dog sleds at a breakneck pace day after day for 12, 14 hour stretches at a time. In 1937, he was the first African American to be made a life member of the Explorers Club. And in 1948, he was elevated to the club's highest level of membership. So on this day, August 8th, Matthew Alexander Henson, we wish you a happy birthday and we salute you.